There is a small, three-foot-tall man, powered in fear. Which bolt? Which I'm yeah, still it holding. Would be, it would be an action to pull them both out, and then another action to use them. Sorry, you just want the shield for the AC. Yeah, that's, that's okay. Cool. All right, 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 yeah. right, 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 right. I was I, that that now I know what you were trying to do. Okay, I get it. It would take an action to pull the shield or the rapier out, but he could use a bonus action to do one or the other, right? You could use an action to pull one out and then a bonus action to pull both out since you're already pulling something out, or you can use an action to pull one out. Either way, you're gonna have to wait two turns to use your rapier. I'm but he's got to use an action to, to hold the witch bolt. Um, I'm not going to pull the rapier out. I'm just okay. going to hold the witch, witch bolt, and the bow is currently stowed now. Okay. Then next turn, you will have your shield out and have that bonus to your AC. Is that your turn? Uh, yeah. All right. This but guy I'm maintaining needs witch to take bolt. 1d4 damage from the crotic wound. Yep. Go ahead and roll the d4. Oh, you want me to do it? I yep. will gladly do that. It's your, it's your wound. That's a four. All right, four damage. Hey, woohoo! Go team. And then <laughs> he is going to make a Constitution saving throw to end it. What is the DC? I think it was fifteen. All right, it's a natural uh, twenty. Never mind. <laughs> it was a DC fifteen wisdom medicine check? Oh, it's um, a medicine check to end it. That's what it's, yeah, DC 15, Wisdom, and then in brackets, Medicine. Oh, no. Um, that, or it can make a DC 15 Constitution saving throw on itself. Oh, sorry, if that's further up, yes. Yeah. It got a natural 20 on the Constitution saving throw. Oh, so. sorry, yeah, it's a, cre other creature can use a Wisdom Medicine mm -hmm. to stop it. Okay. So, but it got it anyway, so. So, it is going to move this way. It is not going to take the attack of opportunity because it's not interested in you. It is searching for the person who wounded it. That is a perception. Sorry, what do you mean it won't take the attack of opportunity? It's not focused on Peter. Even though Does... it attacked him last time? It's focused on who did the dam most damage or who did damage most recently. Are which you... was unfortunately you. Because if you are wounding. you saying that I don't get an attack of opportunity, or you are do. you saying that you do? Oh, okay, uh, sorry. That's what I thought you were saying. Is that Peter? No, you get an attack of opportunity. He's not going to take one. He doesn't get to take one. Whatever. Okay. All right. All right. So th that was that's what I thought yeah. you were saying. Is that Peter didn't get an attack of opportunity? I'm like, no, that's uh, my bad. Okay. Go um, ahead and do your attack of opportunity with uh, your with my hands. nothing in my hand. You could punch the stone. Yeah. <laughs> Um, the thing is, I actually removed... Why did I hide that? How do I show it? You want to just punch it? I, that, that's what I am trying to do. You don't just have an unarmed strike? I, I do have an unarmed strike if I can find it. It's not it's just, where it's... just your actions. It's not there, though. How do you even hide it? Roll a d20, and the damage is 1 plus your strength modifier. One plus my strength modifier. Cool. For a minimum uh, of one. Yeah, I, I missed, though. All right. So I don't do Probably one damage. <laughs> I roll as a 10, by the way. Yeah. You, as, you, as it turns and steps away from you, you throw out a punch. But you your depth perception is a little off, and you end up punching the air behind it instead. And as it lumbers over here, it is going to make a perception there check. It is. It can't have a perception better than 31. Can't it? I'm going to say yes. It's a stone <laughs> golem. Oh, okay. They're not known for, for their uh, super knowledge. I don't knowledge. know what kind of stone golem it is, though. Okay, my unarmed strike should have 13, which is still a miss. Right, I'm I also going to roll an intelligence check. It doesn't spot Turth, but it does spot Harmon. And it thinks for a little bit and decides that you were definitely the person that attacked it and hid. <laughs> because it can't find anyone else, so you have to be the person. Alright. So it yeah, turns you got a pretty low uh, roll there, then, is what you're saying. Yeah, it did. It's got a pretty bad intelligence. Uh, it turns to <laughs> glare at you, and I need you to make a DC 
Uh, I need you to make a constitution saving throw. A seven. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> you were petrified. Petrified. That is Instantly petrified. Like you become. Wood? Stone. You become similar to the statues at the entrance. Ooh. So I can't move. You are completely petrified, yeah. And that is its turn. Um, I don't guess Counter Charm will work against that, would it? Mm-mm. Out of curiosity, does he get a check on each turn, or is that... Uh, it... Since he sailed, failed it by more than five, it does, there is no checks on okay. his subsequent turn. He's not starting to turn to stone. He is instantly petrified. He is petrified. Earth, Peter, and Krikar all see this golem turn its head towards Harmon well, as its eyes glow a deep red similar to the f- stone in the ground. And he shifts in a matter of seconds, shifts into one of the many stone statues still in the sewers. And okay, Earth, well. you can't help but feel a little bit of guilt knowing that he was most likely looking for you. Instead of <laughs> do, do, what do I roll for guilt? Turf doesn't. You don't. Feel guilt. Just, it's just, <laughs> it's just a little bit of flavor. It's just gonna live there for the rest oh, of your life. I rolled a mm-hmm. nat twenty on my wisdom check. <laughs> <laughs> you are, you are innately aware of what you've done, <laughs> and the fact that yeah, I just wasted another nat Your 20. party member, you are innately aware that your party member is turned to stone because of your actions. Does he at least look dignified? Harmon, how were you hiding? Uh, well, I was cowering in fear, so... Nope. nope. <laughs> <laughs> there's a small, three-foot-tall man, cowered in fear. Oh, Harmon, I can do that. it is your turn, but you're petrified, you can't do anything, which means it is now Turth's turn. All right, well... So, he doesn't see me at all. He's obviously got his back to me, so... Uh, running across the ceiling... I should be able to attack down at him, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so do I get uh, advantage because he doesn't see me? It is a stealth attack, yeah. Okay. So rapier wounding at advantage. Ooh, I'm glad I did that at advantage. That is a 26. All right, that hits. So that is going to be um, six damage. Half because it's not magic. Mm-hmm. But with my sneak attack, ooh, uh, 17. Uh, so yeah, half that would, is eight. would be eight. Nine. Nine, eight. yes. All right. you're, you're rounding up, which is which yeah. I appreciate. So one second. I went five, ten. You have 20 feet of movement left. And as you strike it, it is going to turn its head yeah, completely no, no, around no, no. to stare at you. Uh, I'm okay with that. Because what I will do then is, as my bonus action, I will dash. And then I'm going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, and then hide behind that pillar. While you can't tell because his eyes don't move, you can feel it watching you run across the ceiling. But roll another stealth check, please. 23. All right. And is that your turn? I uh, Yes, that's going to be my turn. Krikar is banging on the door even harder now. He just saw his friend get turned to stone. He's screaming out, Taryn, get over here, please. He's begging you. There's snot coming out of his beak. <laughs> Sorry, I he is laugh. scared out of his mind. The slime is also bouncing against the door repeatedly. He's just too terrified to do anything. I want to ask something. What is the <clears throat> space between the bars? Uh, It's about four inches, but... There are a few magic locks on it. You can't reach through. Very well. You can cast through it. You can't move through it. Okay. They are designed for keeping whatever is locked in there. Locked in there. Karen. Yeah. Can help Krikar? <laughs> <sighs> well, he does seem a little bit scared. You don't know why, but he did also start screaming louder and seems to be more terrified than he was few seconds ago. Alright, I'm gonna move up here and be like, Krikar, I need you to trust me. And I'm gonna reach out and mm-hmm. touch him. And mm-hmm. I'm gonna cast gaseous form on him. Okay. As you look through the door, you can see in the corner a statue of what looks like Harmon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Krikar is now in a... Well, I mean, he's, he's a misty cloud, and he can move 10 feet. Okay. Good and, to know. And uh, I'm just going to move back here. <laughs> Follow me, Krikar. You will move on this turn. Yep. I'm done. Back to Peter. Okay. Uh, I've still got Witch Bolt out. Mm-hmm. And that is another 10 damage. Lightning. All right. Okay. Um, now, can I... Can I can I get my shield out now? Yep. You can get your shield out and ready it. You have your bonus that you see. Okay. Now I will... 5, 10, 15. All right. Are you hiding? It's a good strategy. <laughs> yeah, the but last time two people hid. <laughs> I don't. I don't know that I'm able to hide. Am I still petrified? You're still petrified. Because yeah. <laughs> hiding, hiding takes another action. Oh, and true. Yes. I've done a lot of things now, uh, so I am just uh, taking cover here. All right. That means it is now the golem's turn. It turns the rest of its body to look towards Turth and starts marching over and makes another perception check to try and find him. What is your roll for stealth? 23. Well, he's going to step around the pillar, look around for a second, and then spot you and turn to stare directly into your eyes. And I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Uh, bu- 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 saving throw. That is a 16. You did not pass, but you did not fail by five or more. So you are restrained right now and will become petrified after three failures. But the effect will end after one success. Okay. After that, he moved. Let's see, what was that? 10 feet? Okay. Can you make it over to here? What did you... You didn't hide, right? You just... I'm not hiding. I'm just behind the pillar. All right. After basically nodding to himself, essentially, at Turth's restraint, he is going to turn back to you and start marching over. Uh, before I forget, Turth rolled the d4 for... Oh, you wounding. know what? I, I appreciate that. I didn't actually say I was going to do it. Um, I wasn't going to call you on it if uh, you didn't do it, though. That's another four. All right. That doesn't stack. Uh, uh, it doesn't because he rolled a constitution yeah, he... saving throw last time. Okay. Yeah, he he made it last time. It would have stacked if he hadn't made that. He did not make it this time. It will stack if you free yourself next turn and stab him. Yeah, I'm I'm fifty fifty switching to my plus one, but uh, to do the full damage. And then he is going to take one swing at Peter. That is a 16. Does that hit you? That does not hit me. I blocked that with my shield. All right. He brings his giant sword down, and you bring your shield up at the perfect time to deflect it onto the ground next to you, and it shatters the stone beneath you, or next to you, completely decimating it. And that is his turn. Which means it is now Harmon's, but you can't do anything except the turret's turn. Constitution right. saving throw, please. So that's an action, right? Constitution saving throw? The saving throw is a... You have to repeat it or you're restrained otherwise. But so yes, it counts, I... As, it counts as my action. Uh, me? I don't think so. It doesn't say it does. It's. I think it's similar to the constitution saving throw I have to make. Okay. Um, I got an so 11 just, anyways, so I'm going to say no. It is one fail. All right. I can't move, correct? You are, yeah, you are restrained. All right. But you're saying it doesn't take my action. You or a bonus have, action. You have disadvantage on all your attack rolls, and you have disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. And your speed becomes zero. Yeah, so my speed is zero. I get that. As a bonus action, I'm going to switch my rapiers around, so my main hand is my plus one. Okay. 